Like oh, Deadweight no. is better than that? Yeah. Oh, hey. That card's good. If you want to go Azoria's aggro... No, I don't. Probably, like, though. against Reanimator, I don't want to kill their stuff. I just want to make it weaker. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I guess that's fair. Hey. I mean, I'm just guys... trying it out this week. I haven't tried the Crippling Blight stuff yet. I like I just... putting it on Thragtus and then being like, fuck that card. Now it can't oh, yeah, that's the point. Garbage. Everybody at my FNM, every single person hurt. is playing Thragtus except me. Just because I played it. And the mirror match of green white is literally blow your brains out. It is off. awful. It is Can Centaur you Healer. Me? Yeah, what are you saying, Alex? Good. Yeah. You're kind of cackling, but yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, sorry. I didn't know if you guys could hear me. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Like Centaur like... Healer into Resto Angel into Thrag Tusk into another Resto Angel, and everybody's at, sitting at 40 life, and it just it's really boring. Fucking mill them out. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> mill them. Just fucking wreck them. Just like, go like play band control and just, just mize everybody with your singleton increasing confusion. I would be banned if I had Howl <laughs> Fountains. <laughs> hey, um... Increasing confusion sounds hilarious. Just play old Jace and just, like, mill 10. Just we'll see how this shit goes. Mill 10. Fuck Devil's Play. I'm milling your ass. Drag test, mill 10. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's what a lot of the, the band decks are playing in the board. It's just because it gets the other dirty control. Like, slam. I refuse to go to time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got your clock. I thought they were just playing him to kill the other Jace, but I mean, that sounds good too. <laughs> yeah. Bring it's back Bellerin. <laughs> bring oh, back Bellerin. Be so good. Yeah, please that's God, it. bring back Bellerin. That's yeah, who I voted for president. Yeah, exactly. I, I voted for Jace Bellerin for president. Nice. It's clever. I voted for Koth. He's better than Alma. <laughs> hey, I want to talk about a card real quick. Right. Uh, so, hold on. I think it's the name of it. Soul Tithe. Let me make sure. Oh, the one that you have to pay the casting cost? To... Oh, my God, yes. I've been play testing with this card, and it's that ridiculous. Card, that card's so bad. Like, in Constructed? <laughs> yeah. I'm dead <laughs> On serious. On purpose? <laughs> not, I'm not running four of them, but yeah. It's what do you, what do you put it on? Uh, time out, time out. Let me tell you what. Hold on. This was... Hey, I'm not making, I'm not making get a beast. Alex, but this is what he said. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yeah, man, they have a what's that? The four drop red green uh, werewolf hunt master. Hunt master. He's like, they play hunt master, and then you just slap that shit on them, and you're like, yeah, pay for that thing again. I'm like, yeah, until they flip it, and then they don't have to pay <laughs> anything. And then he's like, yeah. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. I guess that is <laughs> but yeah, it is. I've play tested with it, and I think it's pretty good. It's a two drop kill stuff because people aren't going to pay it. <laughs> They're really not. You, you should play it in modern and put it on a midnight. I'll There's give you a high like five. Other two mana kill spells that actually just kill it. <laughs> in blue and white? Okay. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just play uh, Azorius Charm? I could see it good against Reanimator ish. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just saying that I've been playtesting with it. It gets a lot of decks and it's been doing really well. I mean, good. isn't like passive what just better? Uh, no, because Pacifism doesn't get rid of it. But it can't block or attack. Yeah? Yeah, so it's just, like, sitting there. But it just seems I like you're giving your opponent a choice, and I would rather not. All right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've never played Tessa. Maybe it's good enough. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm the king of playing awful cards, so, I mean, I'm not saying that that is uh, completely unheard of, but it's kind of unheard of. Cas, but you'll see, man. You'll be on down in Charleston. You'll be like, draw school reaver, and they'll be like, that guy was right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Guess I'll just play seven man and still just swing and draw yeah. cards. And then he's like, double soul tie. They'd be like, fuck, <laughs> blow out. That is an option. <laughs> Not if, good. I, if I lose to someone double soul tithing. A drug school reaver, I will just drop out of the GP. Just like, <laughs> just autograph his cards and leave. I'm going to play Pokemon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck Ned, this shit. Ned, you just there a phone. judo tournament over there? <laughs> just pull out your phone and call Alex and be like, I'm Fuck sorry. You. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get my number? <laughs> Some I'm, guy. I'm at your house. <laughs> yeah. um, that would be the best. Double soul ties. <laughs> Got you. And you're like, I guess I was cast as Spanx's revelation. I really can't wait to I, play one of you guys and just soul tied and you'd be like, well, damn, that sucks. I can't w wait for you to tell a story about it and then they ask you how the draft went. <laughs> wait, what? If you soul tied my Huntmaster, Nothing. <laughs> that's the only option I want to see. All right. I'm just going to play Mono Huntmaster against you and be like, soul tied it. 
I dare I'd be you. Like, I'd be like, cool, because it's detained. Ooh, got you good, fucker. Then How's I'm it detained? I play detained, oh, baby. You play detained, too? Yeah, dude. Live Skynet's a real fucking card. Live Skynet is a good card. I actually really have been wanting to try out uh, uh, Martial Law. Martial Law is like just like an icy manipulator. Actually, really, what's I mean, that? I've, the man who played Tumble Magnets for like pretty much as long as it was in in <laughs> rotation. That like, guy. That card's awesome. <laughs> you, you don't know what Martial Law does? Is it the bubble thing where like that? No, it's, it's like two double eight enchantment, and then during your upkeep, you detain a creature. Oh, uh, detain, so. Detain. It's, yeah, it's just an icy manipulator. It's like a removal spell that stays on the board. So you can just you you make them overextend, and then you day of judgment, and then you still have that on the board, so that the next play still gets shut down. That's so it's kind of like a a tameo at the beginning of your turn. Uh, yeah. kind of. Yeah. It's at I the guess, beginning. Of I guess your it's turn a little there. different. Oh, hey, Chris. You, you, you do it during your upkeep, but it's they stay detained until your next turn. Oh, well, what about? I don't like that just because of, like the key runes and stuff. Is it permanent or creature? That's creature. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, Kieran's beat it. <laughs> I mean, just because that Rakdos one is such a bitch. I hate yeah, that. I have three in my Grixis deck, like, just to be able to recover from, like, Doge and stuff. Oh, uh, you yeah. should probably just be playing four. Your cards yeah. really <laughs> just just I mean, knock like, it up and I mean, I'm trying to make room. <laughs> like, I'm a, I have I've awful cards on Bodo, and I'm currently playing a Grixis deck that is playing, uh, my finisher is four Rakdos key runes and two, <laughs> two homicidal seclusions. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that card confuses the shit out of people. <laughs> I played that in almost every draft. I mean, so you don't know, you know, trolling until you play it and fucking construct it against the one. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. I got the, like, the greatest deck, cast that you would probably play. It's uh, <laughs> um, eight double control. magnets. <laughs> no, no, it's omniscience control. Have Six drugs go reavers that uh, Brad Nelson made. Is this like a standard deck? Yeah, it's in standard. It's what? green, white, blue, and it's uh, fuck. I wish that deck list, but it's like okay, far seek, ranger's path, right? Because you gotta get the mana. And Is this yeah. the Gilded Lotus deck. Yeah, and the Gilded Lotus, <laughs> and then so you get to ten mana, and you're like omniscience. And, and now I can just play all these bar yeah. seeks and yeah. kill the No, 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 no. And then you're like Thrasilisk, no. Angel of Serenity, right? Get that, <laughs> and then you're like Angel of Serenity, get that angel. Infinite life. Yeah, you infinite loot. <laughs> it's, it's a pain it's, in the ass. Like, it's stupid. Like, it was really funny to watch happen because he only got to do it once because obviously it's like turn six. But, uh,. <laughs> Yeah. You only got to do it without one. disruption. Yeah, you only had to do it one time for me to be like, oh, every opponent I, just I, I rolls him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it seemed really good and really fun. And he had Grizzlebrand in there for, like, no reason, randomly. Grizzlebrand? <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. like, missions, and the guy was like, okay, and he's like, Grizzlebrand? And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Draw seven nice. cards. Yeah. yeah nice, band, nice band deck. <laughs> yeah. Out of nowhere. It was awesome. You, you should play that. Just blow somebody's brains out. Just I saw a guy bucket. today. Put him on tilt. Yeah. How many what? Tamus are you running? Oh, in my red, white, blue deck? Yeah. Uh, two. Right. I've... Since, since I picked up Jace's, I'm down to two Tamios and um, I have three That sounds good. Yeah. I have the opposite. I have three Tamios, two Jace's. And like, I don't know your play group, and I don't know the GP for uh, meta or anything like that. But I, I like always have... I love having Tamio in my hand. Well, Jace is just really good against everything. And Tamiyo is yeah. only good against certain things. Like, I mean, like a lot of times I'd much rather have a Tamiyo, but I mean, like Jace just always replaces himself, which is, you know, yeah. in in certain matchups when you're just like way behind against that aggro decks, like you don't want to have a Tamiyo. Like, it's just like I'll tap your dude, and then they just swing through and kill it anyways. You're just like fuck. And <laughs> wouldn't by having more Jaces kind of make you seem like you have more Tamios because you're going to see them more often because you get to dig more. Exactly. Uh, so. maybe, but I don't, I don't have problems with aggro decks. That, that's the only difference. What um, what do you do with yours usually, Chris? Me? Do you, no, uh, Chris, do you uh pump one, Jace, or do you always nick two first usually? I mean, I kind of dependent on the board, but I usually just draw two cards. Yeah. Okay. That's usually what I'll. I played Bant though, so I had like the, I always draw cards. The three three guy to block, so I was always just like uh, factor fiction. Yeah. Dude, I didn't care what the fuck they had. I was like, Factor Fiction. <laughs> Show me something good. Roll the dice. That's how I play there. Roll the dice. So, so, wait, um, I, I play this four-mana divination. Fuck you. 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't need no three mana divination. No, Overrated. But, uh, <laughs> no, Jace is is very much the real deal. Like, oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> Are you playing a game? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I am. I was saying no to something else. Sorry. Aeroflalo <laughs> is just fucking going off. It's retarded. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Alex is so dedicated to the podcast. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Last week I played... Ooh, uh... YouTube. <laughs> yeah. God. Oops, Check out this girl doing hula hoop. <laughs> yeah. Watch her for hours. Yeah. No, but, um, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I, I particularly like Control right now. Like, really, like... The reanimator deck seems like it gives it so much fits. Like reanimator just seems like really good against the aggro decks and the control decks. So I feel like I should just be playing reanimator. But I think so. Um, I don't have angel serenities. So no, I'll figure that out later. Dude, yeah, and everyone says, "What do you do against like uh, rest in peace?" And I'm just like, I don't know. You fucking beat them with drag test, I guess, or smash the face <laughs> in like a normal person. Like the the, the reanimator decks, they don't need reanimator. Effects. Yeah, they just yeah. can still play, play everything. Like it's crazy, still good cards with value. Like just get extra value out of fucking, rinse, you know, a barrel rinse. So, Somehow, I mean, test lets you get to later in the game, like every game, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so good. Yeah, so good. Like if, if they want to dilute their deck to deal with your graveyard, and you'll just cast your shit. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, handle it, bitch. Yeah, they're like time walking themselves, and you're just like, well, I guess I have time to play this extra land, and now cast it, just hard cast it. All right, <laughs> all right, hard cast Grizzlebrand. All right. I saw a deck today that was Jund Control. That seems fair. It had Liliana in it. <laughs> Jund Control is actually a real thing. I mean, like fucking uh, Rackets Return is a good fucking card. Well, like, he ultimated Liliana. <laughs> And cast Grizzle <laughs> Grizzle Brand for two swamps, and then he oh, played. Oh Liliana? my god! <laughs> it was it was it was bad Liliana. Liliana. Yes, this is bad Liliana. I'm just not even listening anymore. Like, he he, ult- <laughs> he ulted her, and did tap swamp tap swamp Grizzle Brand. <laughs> Why did you? And then the next turn, it gets better. Next turn. It gets better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the guy's got like 14 lands out by now. Next turn, he plays Kessig Wolf Run. <laughs> oh, my God. And fucking made Grizzlebrand like a that, like 64-7 or something. <laughs> this sounds terrible. Who, what was, was he so playing good. against? What was he playing against? Band Control. <laughs> oh, this shouldn't have happened. This isn't this is stupid. <laughs> This was not a real band control, I feel like. He was he was playing against uh Sam Black. <laughs> oh, no detention spheres, no no oblivion rings. No, the, he had just, just used the detention let, sphere let on his Nighthawk. <laughs> what? That seemed good. Yeah, and he ghost quartered his first Keswick Wolf Run, but he had another one. It was really funny to watch though. They always have Because he just goes ulti, oh. <laughs> tap tap, grizzle bread. <laughs> God. I would have been so fucking mad. Yeah. <laughs> Flip the fucking table. Oh, man, Chris. Uh, Ragdos Return. What you were saying. I forgot all about it. But uh, I like that card it's a really lot, good. except for Sphinx's Revelation is an instant. That's the only reason I don't like it as much. It doesn't matter, man. Like, but, yes, I mean, it's, no, I mean, like, because they, they play it on turns way earlier than you play yours, so they get so much more value out of their card than you do. Like, like you get, like if you get to the end game, Sphinx's Revelation is amazing. Mm-hmm. But like Rakdos Return just makes it so you don't get there. So when like, do you drop it? Are you like a four or five? They usually do it. They only usually have to do it for like three or four to get like max value out of it. Because if you're playing against like the decks that I've seen are playing like you know some sort of an aggressive curve. Like they're either playing like Borderland Rangers or Stranglework Guys or you know some some iteration of like the uh, uh, early plan. Mm-hmm. That puts enough pressure on you that you have to kind of use some of your spells out to do to deal with it, and then just at any point if they're able to just force their Rakdos return, it's just, ugh, ugh, ugh. Hmm. I mean, I've been hit with it before, and it sucked. I was pissed. It felt really good. Yeah, but then I like, <laughs> but then I top decked like Angel Serendi, and I was like, "Fuck you!" It's just, you know, well, that's and, pretty lucky. Yeah, it was awesome. It's probably like your best draw. True. After getting Rakdos returned. <laughs> no, the next one was Sphinx's Revelation. I was like, ah, 
<laughs> good, Sixes good. Revelation. I don't know how anyone thought that card was. Like, I mean, there was like debates about whether or not that card was going to be good enough when it was spoiled. And I was like, just fucking look at it. That card's amazing. Yeah. Like, it just does everything a control deck wants to do. Gain life and draw cards. Like, I think it's because everyone thought the format would be way faster. Or they were used to, like, Delver killing you in four turns or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's still good. <laughs> yes, yeah. If they play three right. Delvers and flip all three, then you're like, yeah. Get you. Then you get you good, bitch. Sorceries. And you do nothing the whole time. Just flip it off your Syrian spear. I would love the detention sphere three fucking delvers. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose my shit laughing. I would just leave. <laughs> like you win. This is too funny. I mean, if someone just played out three. <laughs> someone just played out three delvers against you. You probably shouldn't lose. Yeah. Because there's no way for them to rely on flip it. They're just playing an awful casual deck at that point. <laughs> like, what's your deck? It's four delvers and. 36 instants and sorceries, like... Yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Four, ex- four extra Delvers in the side. <laughs> four extra Delvers. <laughs> got you good, bitch. <laughs> oh, I got you good, motherfucker. Like that Baneslayer <laughs> angel story, that scumbag. <laughs> that oh, guy was playing like... Baneslayers? Yeah, he had eight Baneslayers in his deck. <laughs> he was, and, he, and he marked his cards. <laughs> oh, Yeah. That's how, you win the, that's, that's how you had to win the Jace Wars back in the day. You just played more Jaces than the opponent. Yeah. yeah. Play six Jace. Well, the guy, uh, uh, his opponent thought he his his sleeves were marked, so he called a judge or whatever on him. And the guy, like, if, okay, think about it. If you had eight Bane Slash in a deck, would you even let them take the deck for a deck check, or would you just fucking leave? Because I would just leave. Like, there's no like, way you're getting I, out of that, right? I have to take a shit. Right. Yeah. Now. <laughs> For the rest of my, you know, and day. And I can't poop in public without all my cards. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? They're like, they're like my they're mom like, just died. You, Bye. Yeah, you're like, Something. No, like, no, I'm not going to happen. I mean, I or just, just leave. Like, they can't tell you you have like, to stay. You can say, hey, I'm dropping. Bye. How do you just play eight base layers in your deck? They're just like, I'll play the eight base layers. And, just like, and to, mark your cards. How greedy like, are you? The rest, there's like six Bane Slayers in your hand. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, what, dro- what, before, in your lap. before you look at my hand, I need to, to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I lose did, your shit. <laughs> I, I did, in fact, I did in fact keep a six Bane Slayer one play. <laughs> They're proxies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, They're supposed to be land. Someone fucked up. I yeah. figured you yeah. had no way. This one's actually a land. <laughs> I accidentally shuffled two decks together just now, um, but I just wanted to keep playing. So you can have this See, game, and we'll just go. The, to that the sleeves with the left corner bent; those are the Bane Slayers that are supposed to be lands. <laughs> Dude, that's when you just like slap your own deck, <laughs> like just slap your own deck off the table and be like, "What the fuck, bro? Judge!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this guy's offers, fucking crazy. Yeah, but this guy's crazy. He's threw my shit everywhere. I think it mixed in with somebody else's cards over there. God, is that six Bane Slayers? What the fuck? Bro? <laughs> we'll never get this sorted. I'm just going home. Yeah. yeah. I'm just leaving. I can't handle it. Man. This, this tournament's horse shit. I don't know what kind of slipshot operation you guys are running yeah. here. God, if you got that on tape, YouTube hit. Yeah. Oh Magic community. That will be all over the Twitterverse. Dude, everything's a YouTube hit. All you gotta do is put Megan Fox blows dot dot dot. And then do I, the Gundam style dance, and you're good. Sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of one trick ponies like Delver, dude, what did you think? Did you see the the modern Pro Tour or whatever? No, but I heard that there was some kind of weird like Second Sunrise deck or something. Oh, like that. eggs, fucking eggs. Deck. Anyway, anyway, next, yeah, Alex, I was looking for you there. Yeah, so I don't even. Uh, did you hear about the uh, Kiln Fiend and whatever that other fucking card is? Little if Magnus or weird. Elemental. The oh, El- was it playing Magus? Magus, yeah. Yeah. I heard that there was a deck that was playing the uh, the the one drop that it got plus one plus one whenever you played something and untapped it. Yeah, that was there too. That's I mean that's what I heard about. I didn't hear about the, the one playing blister the, guy. That that's it, called it, blister it, coil it, weird. I think yeah. It's yeah. The one, one drop for is it colors. And yeah, yeah, one, yeah. One one that gets plus one plus one for each. I know the card. I never knew it was in any deck so of that was any it. format. Was it the Magnus Elemental? Because if it was that card, it makes more sense. But I thought it was, it was the one that exiled stuff off the stack and gave it plus two counters. 
That's easy. Because that deck cool. wins on turn two. <laughs> Except against Jen. Well, the is it, oh, is it playing with all the stupid fucking Phyrexian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phyrexian, and it has the packs. The packs that you cast for zero and then pu- pull them off the stack. Hmm. I didn't think uh, about that. What's the black one that's like destroy a creature and then you have to pay like six at your next upkeep or something? It's like murder pack. Slaughter like pack? Yeah, slaughter. It's like three you pay or something. That actually sounds know, like, awesome. I'd play that deck. And, you, and you, you you put it all in the stack, and then you gut shot it, and then you take it off the stack, and all that stuff, and he literally That's wins cool. on turn two pretty often, actually. I didn't know it had all the packs and stuff. It sounds better, but... Well, then Jun just goes, like, Terminate, or Abrupt K or something. Like, sorry. <laughs> or anything <laughs> relevant. Yeah. Well, any of the, like, 50 removal spells that are in the deck. Smother! I love that. <laughs> yep, that'll work. Sure. Unsummon. Yeah, just, just name them all. Yeah. <laughs> Unsummon. Lighting yeah, that's bolt. in the that's in the Jun deck. <laughs> in my no, well, so. lightning bolt wouldn't wouldn't work. Yeah, it would, would if it? you doubled it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Chandra, <laughs> get there, Alex. Get you. turn one. Turn one, Chandra. Sometimes turn two, instant just... speed. Double your lightning bolt. <laughs> I don't. You're gonna have to make up your whole. A no, whole new game. Man, oh my I'm... God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the deck sounds better now that I heard the packs were in it, but it still seems really bad. Because I, I was just wondering how they got to that conclusion that Kiln Fiend or some shitty deck choice like that would work in modern. I don't know if you heard anything about it. Do, do um, you not remember when I did it? Yeah, it was terrible. I destroyed <laughs> everyone. The same thing happened. You were like Kiln Fiend, and I was like, Bolt. Game was like, <laughs> over. Scoop. <laughs> it's like Apostle's Blessing. Go. And I was like, Bolt. Again. <laughs> oh, those were in the deck too. Apostle's Blessing. Oh, were they? Yeah, because okay. yeah, yep. they're kind of good. They are. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's like all or nothing turn two. I just don't like strategy. More or less, two or three. <laughs> just blow I mean, The deck sounds pretty bonkers. I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's, That's a blast. It did. It beat. To be fair, it beat like everything except Jund. Yeah. I'm putting allies back together for real. Allies. Yeah. No allies. allies. I've I've actually thought about allies because you get so much. You get like reflecting pool, ancient ziggurat, cavernous souls. Like. Uh, oh, just, dude. You just cast anything you want. Amazing. Hold on a second. I milled a guy for like sixty-five or something. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're on mill allies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you lost him. <laughs> on, on turn four. He just jumped off the whoa, moving whoa. train. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> I was like, train? hideaway, brilliant ultimatum. What, you playing hideaway? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, it's ridiculous. I was like, hideaway. And yeah, like, you're right. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Copy Holly Carr. <laughs> Hollymar and another Hollymar, and I was like, swing with three dudes, brilliant ultimatum. And he was like, and I was, he's like, how much should I meal? And I was like, more than I want to count. <laughs> well, before he, before he ask Alex, oh, wait, a bit, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In modern, people play like Emrakul and stuff. I milled a guy with Emrakul in his deck. <laughs> how did you do that? He was, drew was it. In the he oh. drew it. <laughs> that one time. No, like, he did it three times in a row. <laughs> fuck. Sucks to be that guy. But it, it, it was so it, it was that bad. I, I just don't know why you just wouldn't play like aggro allies. The aggro allies deck is so much better. Not really. I went undefeated for three games with it. Aggro allies cannot be jun. Like there's no yeah, way. Packards. Went went undefeated three weeks with it. I mean, you get Bloodbraid Elf though. It's like the best ally. Yeah. Bloodbred Elf, uh, Violent Outburst. Hell yeah. That's, that was, that's, a, that's an aggressive curve right there. <laughs> Shit. I like how Casby was all on board for allies at the beginning. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. It's like, and you're like, blue white. And he's like, what? That's a little. And you're like, brilliant ultimatum. And he's like, oh, what the fuck? Come yeah. on. Now. <laughs> it's like the train's going like 80 or 100 miles an hour. And he's like, man, this is the best ride ever. And then he just said those cards. And he said, fuck it. I don't care how fast it's going. I'm getting off. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll die. I'll jump into spikes. <laughs> allies. Uh, I was uh, so good. Modern is disgusting. 
I, just, I can't get on board with modern. Like, I don't know. Like, not a fan. It, I mean, I'm not. It's. I don't know. Like, it's, I feel like they just. I hate the fact that they just didn't even give the, the format a chance to like be something. They just fucking like chopped its legs out before it even fucking got off the like. Like, because when they first came out with modern, like it was actually just a pro, like kind of format. Like only the pros gave a shit about it. So, like, they really should have just let the pros just do whatever the fuck they want for six months and just be like, all right, you can play with all the cards you want, and we'll just monitor you guys because you guys are the only ones who give a shit about this format right now. So, like, they're the ones who are going to do all, like, the, you know, the breaking of cards and stuff. So it's just like, you let them break cards and see what needs to be fixed. You don't just fucking chop out all the legs at once. Like, you know, I don't, I don't think Affinity is even, like, a thing right now. Like, you know, like, no. cards to get all that stuff. Like, you know, Affinity is not a real deck. Or, or you know, I'm saying, like, you know, Jason Mind Sculptor was nothing when in the format when Bloodbraid Elf was around. That's because Bloodbraid Elf was a perfect fucking foil to Jason Mind Sculptor. So, I mean, there's like, I mean, they just keep on knocking things out of modern. Like, you know, like, and every card that they knock out leads to another card getting knocked out. They're like, oh, well, let's get rid of Mental Misstep. It's like, oh, well, there's no Mental Misstep, so the best card right now is Wild Knack Call. It's like, oh, okay, we'll get rid of Wild Knack Call. Like, it's just like, when do they fucking stop? I don't know. When they ban Tarmogoy, they will be happy. Well, they're not going to ban Tarmogoy because they no. released that fucking Modern Masters. Yeah. Awesome. Rip off. What? How's that a rip off? It is a rip off. I'm excited about it, but I have to, like, you sell it. <laughs> you I, no, I am excited about it. I am excited about it. But I'm not looking forward to, like, selling a car to get, like, three packs. Uh oh. I mean, you're, the only you're thing slightly I'm over exaggerating. Like, I'm probably not going to buy any of the product. I'm probably not going to buy any of the product, but I, I, the good number of us are actually talking about going to Vegas for the GP. Or the, because it's, uh, the, it's the modern. So Masters. is the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, That'd be talking about crazy. breaking records. Just go to that one. <laughs> Pretty much. How much it's, is that thing going to cost? Most nerds in one place. I mean, it's, it's probably, Guinness Book of World Records. It's, because it's a Wizards event, it's probably still just going to cost like 40 bucks. What? That might, that'd definitely be worth it then, I guess. I mean, I can't imagine them being able to like price it that much more. If they did, everyone would pay it. <laughs> They'd be like, uh, 80 bucks. Yep, we'd still get like 500 people there. Easy. Jesus. That's going to be a sweet turn. <laughs> 500 man GP. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. God, I wish. I've been to like three GPs and each one of them are like close to 2,000 people. Jesus. Yeah. I would love a fucking 500, 500 person. <laughs> oh my god, I just dunked on LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sexual innuendo? It can be. It you know can be. <laughs> you know what a Halmar Expeditioner does? Yeah. Take that, LeBron. <laughs> and Chris Bosch on the side. <laughs> Shit. But the guy I milled out like that, he immediately just left the store. He didn't even like, I'm dropping. I I just leave. He just left. I was like, oh, I'm so- I you just you just <laughs> broke, you just broke his will to fucking play magic. Like, He's yeah. like, I'm never playing this stupid format again. Like, I mean, oh, that's depressing. I remember that. Get the okay. fuck out. That was, that was his first time playing modern. He wanted to try it out, and he was like, this seems fun. It Who's could this? be interesting. Wow, fuck. What was his name? They got the glasses. He was in the. He always he never trades rares. I mean, trades shinies. Never. I can't remember his name. He he was out at Maribel Packards. If you saw him, Houston. But he uh he was like, yeah, I just want to try. I heard a bunch of bad things about it. I'm gonna give it a chance. And then Alex was like, game one, mill sixty four. Three. And he was like, I'm not fucking playing this ever. This is. Like, stupid. And I was like, bro, no, seriously, that's just a shit. You shouldn't. And he was already gone. <laughs> And then, like, I laid down my hand. I promise, I that's like, not a good path. deck. <laughs> <laughs> I had, like, a path and, like, two other bullshit cards. He was like, this is stupid. Yeah. You, like, hide I've away. I've never seen anyone just quit a whole format in one, one game. <laughs> Every <laughs> game dream rolled crusher. once. <laughs> the dream crusher. I, 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 that, I did quit EDH. I played one game of EDH, and I was just like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't like EDH anymore. It's kind of... I have one deck to play with, like, select people. Because <laughs> there's some people that have just, like, want, like, balls to the wall, like, turn three, combo, you're dead. And I will not play with those people. I'll play I with rather, everyone that yeah. builds Dirtle Commander decks that just want to have fun. I would rather play against the turn three. There's, there's, like, nothing fun about EDH, though. It's, like, just five dudes sitting around a table masturbating. 
Like it really is just like whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That sounds <laughs> like a good time. 